Hello, my name is Hellbent, and welcome to the sixth, I'm going to say the sixth part, in the tutorial for Auto Hotkey GUI uh, edit. In this one, we're going to look at making it so that we, once we create a GUI and add the edit box in, um, the user isn't going to be able to change anything that we have in our edit box. Because let's say, for example, we have in our edit box, we have instructions or something like that. Something that we want to have permanently on our GUI. We don't want the user to be able to accidentally erase it or change something. So we're going we're gonna to look at that. So I'm going to take the first minute and I'm going to add in my defaults or my presets for all my, my scripts. And I don't really type very fast when I talk. So, so I'm just going to... And if you have any questions about what I'm doing with these defaults, I cover these in all pretty much all my b tutorials back from like a long time ago. So if you're curious about some of these things, just go back and watch some, some previous tutorials. Okay, so now that I have that out of the way, I'm going to create my GUI with GUI show and then I want a width of 500 and a height of 500 and then a title which I'm going to call edit tutorial and a return. Next I'm going to add in a label so that way when I close the GUI it actually closes the whole program. So I'm going to do a label and exit App. <clears throat> make my GUI always on top and I think we are good okay so which one was this this is read only okay so let's go ahead and add in our edit so GUI add edit and then we're going to leave our options blank for now and we're just going to type in some random te text. So I'm usually quite literal, so random text. Save, play. Okay, so here we go. We have our GUI, we have our edit box, and we have some random text. And I'm a user and this is supposed to be instructions to me. And I'm highlight, I highlight it, and I accidentally, while I have it highlighted, I accidentally hit one of the keys. And oh, oh no, all of my instructions are gone. So, to prevent this from happening, all we need to do is, in our options, all we need to do is just type in read only. Save the changes, and run it, and now... I can type until I'm blue in the face and it isn't going to do anything. Okay, so that's how you make it so that way your edit field is read only so the person, your user can't mess anything up. I uh, hope you enjoyed and I will see you on the next one if you want to go to it, which is going to be how to add a tab into your, your edit. And I'll see you there.